Good morning, Tigers. If we haven't met, I'm Father Ian Gibbons, the new Jesuit on campus. It seems at least one new Jesuit appears annually. I lead our stellar social studies department and work with your amazingly talented brothers in AP microeconomics and honors U.S. history. As a Jesuit priest working in our high school apostolate, I've come to know many of our 63 secondary education schools in the United States. Each one is a powerful work. And together they form thousands of young men and women every year to become leaders capable of bringing truth, beauty, and goodness to a broken world. To help bring about God's kingdom amidst the chaos of human frailty. The Jesuit Schools Network is the largest system of private high schools in the nation. Of the 63 stateside, I've worked for six of these schools in my three decades of high school ministry. Denver, Kansas City, Houston, New York, St. Louis, and now Tampa. I've even worked at a Jesuit boarding school in the Carpathian Mountains of Hungary, barely an hour's drive from Ukraine. Join the Jesuits, see the world. In my time at Regis High School on the Upper East Side of New York, we had a plaque in the chapel for the three alumni who perished on the horrible attacks on September 11, 2001. Many blocks south of East 84th Street is our brother Jesuit Academy, Xavier High School. We loved our rivalry and our many partnerships with our friends on the Lower West Side. We Virginians even smiled when the Xavierites affectionately called our students the Catholic nerds of New York City. My students smiled even brighter when we would beat Xavier in basketball and baseball. The bottom line, however, there was nothing the brothers from the Upper East and Lower West Sides of Manhattan wouldn't do for each other. Xavier, being on 16th Street, is roughly 25 blocks from World Trade Plaza, and over 60 members of the Xavier community perished in the Twin Towers 23 years ago today. So many lost in the blink of an eye. The fathers of Xavier boys, the adult sons and daughters of Xavier faculty and administrators, dozens of alumni who love their rivalry with Regis almost as much as they cherish their beloved Jesuit high school. In the days that followed in the great city as it struggled to face the twin towers shaped hole in its collective heart, Xavier had the tremendous advantage of speaking a language of faith. The big questions of theology classes worldwide became all too real for these 1,000 young men. Why does evil exist and even thrive? Why did our all-good and powerful God allow this suffering? The abstract became all too real for our brothers on West 16th Street and for all our Jesuit schools mourning these losses. I've loved all of my Jesuit high schools and I pray for them every day. They pray for us and I invite you to keep these 63 schools and their needs in your daily intentions. Except for their New York accents, these Regians and Xavierites are the same Jesuit students who traverse our beautiful campus. And so let's bow our heads and pray for them and all our 63 schools as they work to sow peace in a world scorched by hatred and mistrust. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, make us an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. 
Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. St. Ignatius.